Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Hardcore Minecraft Take 3. Well, last we left the Avatar, we have completely filled in this large map. The largest kind of map that we can make. And we got lots and lots of leather on our excursion out exploring. Which means that we finally have finished the enchanting room. We're going to place down the uh, enchanting table and it will draw from the bookshelves around it to become more powerful. And it floats, because magic. And it turns to always face you, because magic. And the pages turn, because it likes to be awkward. As for how the uh, enchanting table works, there is a slot here and a slot for Lapis Lazuli. You can either put a book in there or you can put an item in there and it will give some suggestions. Like Silk Touch, for instance. That is a really good suggestion for an enchantment. If we were to put a book here, we get something different. We get uh, Smite 4, Efficiency 2, and Smite 1. Now, you see that there is a question mark there? That means that it may not necessarily be the only thing that you get. And the uh, numbers here correspond to the minimum level of experience that you need to get this enchantment. 6, 12, and 30. You can actually make the uh, number lower by blocking off the bookshelves with torches. Which means now that we have uh, 28, 17, and 3. And the uh, same here, allowing you to get different enchantments. You can go very, very low here. You can do that, and uh, actually lower things up to 6, 4, and 1. And the same here, efficiency on breaking and efficiency. What do I want, though? That is the question. The question is, uh, do I want to give this uh, Unbreaking 2? Unbreaking 2 is pretty good, and combined with mending, this will make this pickaxe nearly indestructible. Mending will make it indestructible by the very nature of uh, mending and how it works, but Unbreaking 2 will mean that whenever I use the pickaxe, there is a chance that uh, it won't lose any durability. And that's pretty awesome. And for things that I want to last forever, this pickaxe is probably a good call. But then again, you can't get mending books by using the enchantment table, so you need to keep that in mind. Uh, you can get them from uh, villagers, and that is a potential plan in the future, but this is the only one of these I have, and so I need to be very careful with it. Looting is something that I can put on a weapon, but uh, not right now. I, I think actually I will take Unbreaking 2. You need two Lapis Lazuli for this. We may get something else. We have the Enchanter Advancement. And now this is an Unbreaking 2 Diamond Pickaxe. We'll keep the Mending Book here as it is. Uh, we didn't use uh, any of the books. The uh, pickaxe has returned to us with the enchantment. The Lapis Lazuli, however, is gone. And now everything here has changed. We have uh, Power 4, Sharpness 2, and Power 1. We can't put this in there anymore, though. It has one enchantment. If we want to put any more enchantments on it, we're going to have to uh, rely upon books. And let's see if we can get a uh, Unbreaking 2. Unbreaking 2s are not especially uncommon. We might be able to uh, get something. That's multi-shot, piercing and sharpness. Sharpness is one that also tends to uh, appear a lot. Bane of Anthropods, piercing. Piercing, I think, is only used for uh, crossbows. Now we're just up to uh, power one. Hmm. I want to uh, just cycle out the uh, enchantments here, so I'm going to uh, get a really low power enchantment and put that on a book. Power 1. Seems fine. We have a power 1 uh, book there. We can always uh, strip away the uh, magic from that book uh, later. Now let us uh, try again. Knockback 2, power 2, feather falling 1. Not especially what I want. Fire Protection 3. That is actually quite good, because that will uh, allow us to uh, 
enchant something quite substantially. I'm actually going to get that because uh, Fire Protection 3, very nice. We'll be using that later for sure. Luck of the Sea 2? Ooh, Luck of the Sea 2. If I go back to my uh, magic fishing rods, Unbreaking Lure 2, Luck of the Sea 3. Where's the uh, fishing rod that I've been using? Well, it is currently dark, but uh, we don't have to worry about uh, exploring about. Uh, Unbreaking 3, Curse of Vanishing, Mending. We have Luck of the Sea uh, 3, so I don't need to worry about uh, getting Luck of the Sea. Lore 3, though, might be a good thing to get. Also, I should probably uh, move those so that I can see what's here. Not a whole lot that's great. This is something I tend to do a lot when I'm uh, making equipment. Sweeping Edge is pretty good. It's unique to the uh, Java edition. It means that uh, damage is dealt, uh, extra damage is dealt to... Ooh, there's the thing I want. Extra damage is dealt to uh, enemies that are next to uh, foes that you're attacking with a sword while you're sweeping. Three Lapis Lazuli for Unbreaking 2. And Loyalty 1. Don't want Loyalty 1, but that's okay. We have some enchanting with the crafting area to uh, do. Specifically, the smithing uh, anvil. We want to combine this mending book and this Loyalty 1 Unbreaking 2 book. Now, if I do it this way around, that is two. If I do it this way around, it is three. Ordering is important. Also, I hear a skeleton out and about. Should be okay, though. We have a book, and I'm actually going to go out and check to see if that skeleton is here. No, the skeleton is beyond the wall. The wall is serving its purpose. I was actually tempted to use the uh, mending on the shield, because the shield uh, is something that I'm going to be using forever, but we can do that later. Having a uh, pickaxe that never breaks, that is made of diamond, that is a great thing indeed. So, let us uh, now combine these. So, diamond pickaxe, and this makes a Unbreaking 3 mending diamond pickaxe. And we are going to call it... This increases the uh, cost by one. A magic pickaxe. There we go. Unbreaking three, mending. And while I'm thinking about it, I don't want that sharpness one book. But actually, is it really going to hurt having the... Uh, oh, sorry, the power one book. Is it really going to hurt? I want the, uh, the book back. I also want to uh, check out if there's anything else that I can get that is awesome in book form. We have uh, Protection 3, Fire Protection 2, Unbreaking 1. Fire Protection 3 is actually something I want to get at some point. Because we have a Protection 3 book already. So we have something that we can uh, work towards. And I've used a lot of my experience in making my first named magic item. And I don't know why I'm going that way. I really want to uh, go this way and dump off all of this stuff. All of these books need to go here. This needs to go here. And in actual fact, we're going to move the Lapis Lazuli over to here because that's where it really needs to be. So we're going to put this in our offhand here for when we go fishing in the morning. Because we are going to go fishing for experience a little bit, and also to show off how mending works. It's very simple. The experience that we gain just gets uh, sucked into the uh, pickaxe and slowly repairs it. It really shouldn't take very long, considering how little uh, durability loss the uh, pickaxe has taken. We'll uh, fish here. That's where we were originally intending to fish, wasn't it? Yes, right here. We'll just wait. Eventually, the uh, fish will come biting. This is a great way to get experience for when you want to uh, do a bit of uh, enchanting. You just fish until you uh, have all the experience you need. Another good way is to go to the nether and do battle with the uh, zombie pigmen, but that is very dangerous. Did you see the uh, pickaxe there uh, move a bit? That is because it drew in some experience and repaired a bit of its durability. In theory, we need never make another pickaxe ever again, 
Unless, of course, we want to uh, get a Silk Touch one, which I tend to... Uh, Ooh, there we go. Which I tend to uh, eventually get. I didn't want my first pickaxe to be a silk touch one. I want eventually to get fortune on this uh, pickaxe so that uh, when we get things like uh, diamond and anything that gives experience, we can get a lot of it. You can use a pickaxe that has fortune 3 to get a load of coal and... Diamond as well. Diamond you can uh, get a lot. You can get multiple pieces of diamond from a single diamond block. It's not something you really need to do, because by that point you have so much diamond that you really don't have any uh, use for it, unless you just want to make blocks of diamond so that you can sit upon a throne of diamonds. But it is a nice little addition. Peaceful fishing after some successful magic usage. We'll also want to uh, do some alchemy at some point, because I'm thinking about getting that village up and running. We're going to need a uh, few villagers to uh, have a viable settlement. We're going to need a farmer. A fisherman is also a pretty good idea. And we're going to need some librarians and a cleric. And the uh, magic pickaxe is now fully repaired. We can just take this pickaxe wherever we want and use it whenever we like, and just fix it back up with a little bit of experience gain. You can end up with some uh, funny situations of uh, you doing a lot of mining and the experience you get from the mining uh, repairing the pickaxe as you're using it. That is a really awesome uh, time when that happens. It's the uh, Unbreaking 3 mending, yes. Um, just... Uh, Hoping uh, one day to have one that has Luck of the Sea 3 and Lure. Really don't want to have it be one that has the Curse of Vanishing. That's just a uh, personal preference. It really makes no difference for the Avatar here, but I just want to have one that doesn't have that. I should probably explore over there at some point and uh, see what I can find. Probably lots of goodies and awesome riches. Or maybe just a tiny landmass and then, uh, nothing. Do you know what? Let's actually go do that right now, shall we? The, uh, day is not too, uh, old. I'm gonna put this up here so that, uh, we don't accidentally, uh, lose it. Actually, why not just keep it here, eh? Just in case we, uh, decide to do any, uh, mining. Why not just keep it there? It is, after all, something that we can fix up. It's not gonna be a problem. We'll just keep it there. We'll, uh, get all of this, and then we're going to briefly check out that area and go and find new things to explore. We're going to be, uh, using our horse because, of course, and that rhymed, the Avatar is a poet, and unfortunately poetry will not get him any more experience levels. But it is fun. We'll, uh, get some potatoes. They can go in there. We'll get some, uh, wheat. That will go here, because, uh, well, the seeds will. These will just get, uh, dumped in there. We have uh, more watermelon slices. And we have, uh, that there. Four of these, is that enough to make? That is enough to make another one of these. At some point, these will be useful. Not yet, but in time. Also, we have another loaf of bread. Ta-da! Marvelous. Time to grab the lead, and time to go and explore once more. Let's go! Round here, over here. Why do I keep going that way? Why do I keep going that way? I really should go this way, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. There's no real uh, clean way to uh, get out and about on the horse. But that's alright, because as soon as we are beyond the walls, we are galloping away! We're gonna go over here, past the uh, little uh, passageway that I made, and we're just going to look about and uh, see what we can find. Ah, uh, yes, I uh, forgot that there was a big body of water here, but we can go that way, actually. Let's just go this way. This way is much easier. Much easier indeed. Come along, Emerelda 2. We have some exploring to do. Only a small amount, though. I want to see what we're uh, getting into if we decide to explore up 
here, away from the spawn in that direction, likely leading to a whole new map. There's some coal there. I would have grabbed that at some point. Uh, once we get some fortune enchantments. Uh, once we get that protection enchantment, I want that as well. Ideally, what I want is a whole suit of uh, magical armor that has uh, mending and unbreaking. And uh, can you uh, please get over here? Yes, you can. Brilliant. Now that you're here, we can ride. And go past here. I actually want to go hmm, this way. This way is probably much uh, safer for us to uh, traverse. Just see what's over the horizon here. Ooh. Okay, that is a very peculiar structure. That is a very peculiar structure. Oh. That is a witch's hut. Witch's huts are quite dangerous because there is a witch in there. Hmm. Do you want to go check that out, though? Do you want to go check that out? This could be the doom of me, but uh, I think I will err on the side of caution for the moment and uh, not go in there right now. Don't encounter too many of them. Hmm. We're going to go this way a little bit and uh, see if we can find something over here of interest. Going to have to definitely ready up for that fight. A witch in an uh, enclosed environment can be very dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. Lots of swamp, that makes sense. Oh, sorry, Emerald 2. You will uh, heal over time with the uh, grass about and... Uh, that is a very deep bit of water. Don't want to get caught up in that. It's getting dark, though. I'll probably want to uh, head back pretty soon. We can uh, outrun a lot of threats on horseback, but the water is another problem entirely. Nicer uh, bit of greenery here. More greenery over there. Hmm. Interesting. We'll definitely explore up here at some point, but uh, right now, getting dark, want to make it back home. And home is over there. We'll go this way this time. Through the swamp. Shouldn't be too dangerous. And dangerous it was not. However, the water, I'm going to take a while to traverse. Go this way around. Spend as little time as possible in the water. We can actually make it quite far by uh, using the Swampland. We can get all the way to here. Okay, let's go. It's not going to take too long to get back. I probably shouldn't be uh, so afraid of uh, the monsters at night, but they are a danger that will sneak up on you if you're not, uh, uh, not prepared. And I'm never prepared for combat. Oh, that I am never. And jump! That hut, though. Definitely going to check that out, that's for sure. But that'll be for next time. For when we come back, we will think about exploring over there. And we'll also think about building a few uh, houses for a village in the future. We need to uh, get the things ready so that we can do that. We need to make a splash potion of weakness or three. And we need to get some golden apples. I do believe we already have some of them, though. Which is uh, a good thing. I'm going to double check that, though. It always pays to be uh, thorough when it comes to such things. Dump off this egg. Why not? I imagine that would be in the miscellaneous loot. I believe we've looted at least one. We have no one there. Ah, they're in here, and we have five of them. That's pretty good. Do we have any uh, sugar? We don't. That is actually something we are going to need for making some splash potions. We need some uh, gunpowder as well, but we have plenty of gunpowder. 
bathroom does look much better with the uh, addition of the bookshelf. I can uh, just imagine the avatar uh, sitting down and uh, relaxing with a good book. Also, do we have a record? I don't remember if we looted one of those or not. It's not here if we have one. Miscellaneous, uh, it's not magic stuff. It's definitely not magic. Weapons and armor. We haven't looted one. Okay, that's fine. No point making a uh, record player then if we don't have a record to play. Makes sense after all. This magic pickaxe. Maybe I should have put the uh, mending book on the shield, but I'm happy with what I have here. My, am I happy with it. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.